I'm Mrs. Young and I'm here at Donahoe Elementary and this is my fifth grade class. Today we are going to be learning about energy and energy transformations. All right, friends, what did we just talk about with energy? What does that mean? What do you think it means? Angel? Plasma. Okay. Felicia? Yeah? Mason? Mm-hmm. Andrea? Something that uses power. Something that uses power. Willow? Uh, something that when you touch it, it's static. Yeah, very good. Dave Yar? Very good. All right, does everybody know what this is? Hair dryer. Hair dryer. I have to do what for it to work? Plug it in. When I plug it in, it gets what through the cord? Energy. Energy. Energy and specifically electricity. electricity. Do you know what is inside the hair dryer? No. Oh. There's fans that are going to be moving and turning. And what comes out of the hair dryer? Air. Air. What kind of air? Heat. Heat. And then there's a snowflake button that if I push it, it's going to be what kind of air? Cold. Okay. So our learning intentions for today, I am learning about energy and how energy transforms. And then I will know I am successful when I can make observations to provide evidence that energy can be transferred from one place to another. So who knows what this is? If you don't, that's okay. It's kind of funny looking. Teapot, tea, 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 tea kettle. What happens when I put water inside of it and I put it on this? It boils and it gets really, really hot. Very good. What does this also use? I gotta plug it in and it uses what, Kareem? Electricity. Electricity. Very good. Now, we're going to see what happens when I plug in my hair dryer. What do you think is going to happen when I put the car in front of it? It's going to move the car. No? It is. It's not? It is. It's going to be too heavy to move the car? No. no. It has wheels. Let's see. Is it moving? Yeah. yeah. What's going to happen if I turn it on high? It's going to move yeah. back. What did the car do? It moved. It moved. Did the car have energy? Yes. No. Do you think the car has energy? No. No, but it moved. Oh, yeah. Because it was the force of something else. Very good. So you want me to put it on freeze mode and see what happens? Yeah. Okay. Well, the car will do Did it do the same thing? Yes. Okay. That is called mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is when something is moving. Heat the chocolate bar. Heat the chocolate bar. No, freeze it. Freeze it? No, melt it. Freeze it. So what do you predict is going to happen with the chocolate bar? It's going to melt. It's going to melt? Why is it going to melt? Because it's too hot air. The heat is going to be too hot. The heat is going to be too hot. Do you know what that heat is called when we're talking about energy? It's called thermal energy. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Uh -oh. We'll start with low. Or you can high. start with high. 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 Uh -oh. It's melting. I can't see. It's gonna be liquid. It kind of melted. What happened to it? It melted up. It's liquid. It's getting liquidy. Just that little bit of time and just that little bit of heat caused the chocolate to start doing what? Can you put on 
Milk. 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 Can I put it on super mode? Uh oh. Yes. It was already yes. on super mode. Yes. 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 If I kept going with melt. the hair dryer, would it melt completely? Yes. 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 All right, I'm going to show you something else. So up here, some of you noticed this morning there was Play-Doh. Play Somebody said, are we making cookies? No, yeah, we're not I making would, cookies. Would we have a star or a snowflake, and we have a heart. <laughs> what do you think we're going to do with the Play-Doh and the cookie I'm cutters? Mold it. Mold it. Mold it. Mold it. Mold it. Cut it into shapes. Cut it into shapes. How many shapes do you think we need? Two. Two? Two. All right, you're going to get a chance to do this soon, but I want to show you what happens first. All right, you think that's thin enough? Yes. yes. Okay. We want to do the heart first or the star first? Star. 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 Okay. Star. Woo. Do Happy. I want to mix my colors? No. no. Because when I mix them, can I undo them? No. Okay. So when you have the chance to do this, you can pick your color. Just don't mix it. All right, what do we want to do second? Do we want to do two stars, or do we want to do a star and a heart? A star, star and a heart. heart. Star and a heart. Okay. Now, when you do this, you don't want to make it too thick, or else it's not going to work. All right? Did you tell me two stars or a star and a heart? Oh. Okay, just making sure I did it right. What do I have now? A oh, heart. Oh, heart. Who knows what this is? A battery. battery. Do you know what kind of battery? Have you ever seen this kind of battery yeah. before? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I've yeah. seen it in big cars. In those, big cars? Those little big toy cars and it's yeah. connected to something. Yeah. What are these red and black things? Wires. 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 Are these dangerous if I treat them yes. wrongly? Yes. Yes. So, before I go any further, we have to remind ourselves about some lab safety rules. Because what you're going to be doing today is considered a science lab or a science experiment. Do not put your mouth. You do not put, your, put these wires in your mouth. Very good. Because you, they will electrify you. You do not put the battery in your mouth. Okay, I've already put the connector on there. Be careful with the sharp tools. Be careful with the sharp tools. Yes, if you touch this the wrong way, it could cut you because it is a little bit sharp. We're going to wash our hands at the end because you're going to be touching some different things. Think responsibly. Use goggles. We don't really need goggles today. Goggles are for when we're doing things with chemicals or liquids. And be careful with sharp tools. Now, we're going to use our equipment correctly. Am I going to play around with my battery? No. All right, at the back, am I going to pop my balloon? No. No, because if you pop it, I don't have any more. We're going to follow directions, and then we're going to Make sure if anything happens, you're going to tell who? You. Me. All right, so I'm going to take my battery. And at each station, there's directions in case you forget. So I made two shapes of Play-Doh. I took my battery and I connected it. I'm going to put one wire in the red, in one shape, and I'm going to put my other wire and my other shape. Then I have these. What is what this is? It's not a thumbtack. It looks like a thumbtack. Brian? Light. It is a light. What is at the end of the light? Wires. Wires? What do you think is going to happen when I put these wires? It's going to turn the light on. It's going to turn the light on. Let's see. The battery is giving what to the Play-Doh? Energy. Energy. And what made the light turn on? The energy. Energy from the Play-Doh. So if I take one wire out, is the light still on? No. Okay. 
So I'm going to put it back over here. I'm going to take the light bulb out. At this station, you have two colors of Play-Doh. You have two batteries, two cookie cutters, and four light bulbs. You're going to be in a group. So everybody needs to make sure we have a... Are you going to use that so Same on that cookie bulb. No, we're going to pick right over this today. All right, then over here, if you need to see, you can turn. Who knows what this is? A bowl. A bowl. A bowl. What do you think this bowl is made out of? Glass. 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 What would happen if I dropped it? It would shatter. It's going to shatter. It would shatter. Do you see some of these names on the bottom of this bowl? Hey, Miss Kane. It's Miss Kane's bowl. So do we want to be extra careful with Miss Kane's bowl? Yes. Okay. Yes. What's on top of the bowl? Plastic wrap. Plastic wrap. Who knows what these are? Sprinkles. Sprinkles. I'm going to put ooh, a little bit of sprinkles. A little bit of sprinkles. Why? Because they're rolling off. Who knows what this is? Have you ever seen something like this before? No. It looks like a magnet, but it is called a tuning fork. So when I go, it makes a little bit of sound, but you can see them going back and forth. Yes, it makes a noise. So you're going to have a tuning fork. You have your directions. Now this one, if I show you, then it might ruin it. So it says, add a spoonful of sprinkles on top of the plastic wrap. I already did that for you. Then, who knows how to hum? Can you hum? Okay. You're going to hum softly near the bowl, and then hum more loudly near the bowl. What do you think is going to happen when you hum? It's going to make them bounce. It's going to make them move. What if I hit this and then put it on the plastic wrap? What do you think is going to happen then? It's going to dance. Now, I want you to watch how to do this. All you do is you take it and you just go. Did I hit it over and over and over again? No. Okay. So that's your second station. You want to do it to the bowl? You're going to have a chance to do it to the bowl in a minute. All right, everybody knows what this is. Soda. They're empty. How many balloons? Two. Okay. I have one balloon that is white and one balloon that is pink. Okay. For this one, I also have a piece of tissue. cloth. Yes, it looks just like a tissue, but it is actually cloth. So for this, I'm going to take my cloth and I'm going to rub it on my balloon. What do you think is going to happen? Static. Static. So let's see. Do you think it's going to work with the small balloon too? Yeah. Right. No? It's static. Yeah. So, you also have a stack of little sticky notes. In your group, everybody is going to have a turn at each station. You are going to put your sticky note with your name and see who can get the balloon to roll the can the farthest. Right, so that's station number three. What do you think? Have you seen different types of energy at each station? Yes. 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 We have electrical energy from our battery, and it made our light bulb light up. We have static electricity, which is a type of energy with our balloon. And then that makes a sound. This also makes a sound. So then we're going to have some sound energy. All right, are you ready? Yes. yes. You think you 
are? Yes! Okay. All right, we're going to explore three different stations. You will have about five minutes at each station because there's some other things that we want to do at the end. So I know five minutes doesn't seem like a long time, but hopefully everybody will have a turn. If not, we will always come back to it. All right, these are called exploration stations because you are going to be exploring the different types of energy at each station. We have our dancing sprinkles. Everybody give me a thumbs up if you remember how to do dancing sprinkles. What? Okay. We have our amazing energy. Give me a thumbs up if you remember how to do our amazing energy with our balloon. And squishy circuits with our Play-Doh. Why do you think it's called squishy? Because the Play-Doh is squishy. Play-Doh is squishy. All right, three groups. Each group, you're gonna know if you're group one, group two, or group three. You have a different rotation, so that way everybody gets a turn. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Yes? All right, go ahead. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And I'm gonna hit start on the timer. Nobody's gonna pop a balloon. Wrong side. That's how you're supposed to do it? Oh. <laughs> you're with it, you're. It, it rolled right here, but it just rolled back. Oh, that's cool. Die. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed our lesson on energy and energy transformations. We are four houses, we are one family. We are God.